Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> Welcome back to another installment of heavy discussions or heavy topics or all of the above. <laughs> Let's have a discussion that I have been dealing with in multiple different ways. Whether it's my own personal experience or other people's experience or just everything in general. Let's chat about why writing is not a competition. <laughs> it ain't a competition, love. I'm not sure why this is an issue. I mean, I suppose we as writers can be considered rivals? Maybe? Hmm. But see, when I think of rivals, I think of the first season of Pokemon. Ash Ketchum and Gary Oak. The goal with Pokemon is to be the best trainer of them all, to be the strongest one of all. And so there are lots of battles going on and trying to get stronger and better. The inevitable outcome for Ash and Gary is to be pitted against each other in a fight where only one can be the winner. That's a rival. That's a competition. There is a clear winner and there is a clear loser. Writers, authors, fanfic writers, hobby writers, published authors, whether traditionally published or self-published, we're not pitted against each other to come out on top. This ain't the Hunger Games of writing, folks. <laughs> we ain't out to kill each other. <laughs> if you are, please stop. You see, a bookstore has lots of books in it. Uh and your lovely book can sit next to my book, and my book can sit next to someone else's lovely book. Knowing readers, knowing booktubers, they're gonna get all three and five more to boot. If you've seen people's book hauls, you know what I'm talking about. These people come out with 50 billion books, and their personal libraries are huge huge and amazing and impressive. I don't do that, but I have with manga some, so I know a little bit about the, about the book cordon. <laughs> Books, in a way, are a consumable product. I know that's weird to say, but it, it kind of is. It kind of is. We read a story, we take in the world, the characters, the writing, and we just gobble it all up. <laughs> like it's some good old pie. When we're done with it, we either loved it, liked it, disliked it, or hated it. Depending on one of those outcomes, it's either gonna go on our shelf or we're gonna do something else with the book. But <laughs> the outcome will always be we move on to the next book. We don't just read one and, huh, oh, that's it, that's it. That's all she wrote. I'm sure with traditional publishing, there's probably a limit of how many books they publish in a year. So there's a little competition, but I'm pretty sure that if a traditional publishing house was like, we cannot take any more books this year, and then a fantastically written book is on their desk, they'll be like, well, crap, we gotta publish this too, cause we gotta make the money. Gotta make the money. Cause if it can make money, if it can sell, to publish it. It's just the nature of it. You know, I, I had this small HTC phone a couple of years ago and it was my first cell phone. It was probably about two inches to three inches tall. It was really small. It wasn't a flip phone. It was my very first phone. I got a phone late and left. And I read tons of fan fiction on that little phone. Reading only one fan fiction story was laughable at best. I had 50 to 80 tabs open all the time. All of the time, okay? All of the time. All of those stories were 50,000 words or more because I filtered out anything below that number. It's ludicrous to imagine that I would have been content with only one story. No matter how amazing it was, 
I wanted more. I was consuming so much all of the time that I just, I wanted it all. It, there was no competition. I wanted it all, all of it, all of that. I couldn't get enough of my preferred genres, which were drama, angst, hurt and comfort, family and friendship. Books are the same. We just want to keep reading and you got another story for me? I want it. It's like video games. Video games aren't a competition to me. I mean, I know there are console wars, but please, please. As much as I love The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and as much as I will forever play that game, forever, I love so many other games as well. And it's not the only video game I own. <laughs> Dragon Quest Builders 2, Stardew Valley, Rune Factory, Animal Crossing, all of the hype, Hype Train, Final Fantasy Tactics. The list goes on, the list goes on throughout all of the generations of different types of games as well. This little place that we reside in as authors, it's called a writing community. We're unified by common interests. A community is a feeling of fellowship as a result of sharing common interests, goals, and ideas. Thank you, dictionary. As writers, we are not in a competition with each other. Competition is a fight or a battle for resources in short demand. We writers are not in short demand. Our stories are not in short demand. There will always be readers and they will always be wanting more and more and more. There will always be someone who wants to read your book, your writing. There will always be someone there. I think this feeling of it being a competition is one of the root causes of contention in the writing community. You know, opinions will always clash with one another. That's just gonna happen. That's common. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> We're not little robots all following one single idea. Shocker. I know, I just shattered your world, didn't I? But this discounting someone's value to the community and or their work because they don't conform to a certain set of so-called rules? <laughs> Which said rules or standards are not the same worldwide, just saying. This is foolish. This hurts us as a whole. Writing is hard. Life is hard. We all just want to create. We all have this innate desire to create characters and worlds and stories. As writers, we shouldn't be pushing each other down in the effort to reach some illusionary finish line. Instead, we should be lifting each other up and rooting for each other on this marathon of writing because it's never ending we're never gonna stop not really i mean we all have periods of rest but we're never gonna stop wanting to create it's not gonna happen we finish one story we're gonna want to move on to the next the new story idea like <laughs> it's notorious for us writers to have multiple story ideas all at the same time clamoring for our attention it's never ending send hope there's no finish line there's no competition. We are a community of writers. We are acquaintances, we are friends, and we are family. I'm not suggesting that we have to like everyone. Definitely not suggesting that, okay? Rest easy. You don't have to like everybody. You don't have to like me, just saying. <laughs> but I am suggesting that we all get along and that we try to uplift each other and help each other out. I want to celebrate everyone's milestones. You published a book? That's wonderful. You finished your book? That's great. You finished the first draft? That's awesome. You finished a chapter? You wrote a paragraph? You wrote a sentence? You wrote a word? You thought about your story? That's all great. All great. All wonderful all awesome. Be someone's light. Don't be their darkness. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think writing is a competition or not? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I make videos on Mondays and Fridays. Until next time, bye! <laughs>